Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Drew Gulak well-versed in every submission hold in the book. And from what I hear, every one of them hurts. Yeah, the lights can go out with just one move from Drew Gulak. A true broad street bully. The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. The Apex Predator has arrived. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this and business. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. A third-generation superstar Yo, let's go. who had no hesitation when it came to creating his own path when it comes to creating his own legacy. Randy Orton has done just that. But prior to NXT and the WWE Performance Center, it has been said, if you were going to build a WWE superstar from the ground up, it would look exactly like Randy Orton. Has every tool needed to be a legend. There is no question, Randy Orton is one of the most vicious competitors we've ever seen. I agree, Saxon, and his venom is as potent as ever. Orton knows how to debilitate any opponent. Once the fangs come out, Orton aims for the kill. Here comes the lone wolf.
from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! I'd like to preface this by saying Corey Graves' comments about Baron Corbin are paid for by friends of Corbin. That's inaccurate. Corbin doesn't pay me anything to be his friend. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. And looking around the ring, this should be an interesting fatal four-way match tonight. Competitors set for action with Drew Gulak, Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, and Baron Corbin. These gladiators appear ready for war tonight, and they have to be if you want to earn a victory in this one. The hostility between all four of these superstars is palpable. All want to destroy one another. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. I see a cut too on Corbin after that. Here he goes for the win. He forces a break before the count of two. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Ah, oh, Fujiwara you are armbar applied. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. tree at the base here. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Scoop slam! And Corbin's plans fail there. Left by the turnbuckles. Look at this, Randy Orton now. Has his opponent on the middle rope. What is Orton thinking? And trap. And will this be it? No, a kick out for Corbin. That was a long two count there. Bam! Down he goes. Held in a perilous position. Oh, man. Back to the esophagus. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing console. Escapes it. Dreaded maneuvers in all of sports entertainment. Very breaker. Goes into the pin. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. Staying in this one. Big forearm. Spiked. Took it out the knee. And after that shot to the knee, what could be next? Oh, that'll rock you. Gulak turns it around. Front face lock applied. Open. The opponent driven down with the Gorkbuster. Springboard into the kick. That was disastrous. 
He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, but at this point, Cole, the Fatal 4-Way is still anyone's to win. And he's taking this to the outside now. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. He can do it here. Oh, and he breaks up the pin. And we have Rhodes. Had that one scouted. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Stops the kick. Fights back with an Enziguri. This is right for him. Oh Get slammed down. Getting out of the ring. Smart decision here. Shake off the cobwebs away from your opponent. What is Cody Rhodes looking for here? Oh my! Drives them down with a vertebra breaker. Turns to the ring. Baron just. Uh oh. What are they gonna do here? How about a little gory special? Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Oh man. Counter into a jawbreaker. Uh, off the rope. No worries. Landing a big hit with that hammer. Things are looking dire for Baron Corbin. Something's got to change quick. I don't want to. Does he get him here? And there's the breakup just in the nick of time. He's got him scouted. Oh, what a windup. So we're going to take down a very party and there. It's time to go to school with the fit. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Oh, oh he goes low. Yeah. That should do it right there. Kicks out. Oh, oh. Rose has his opponent. Continues. Uh oh. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself. And there's the cover. Stopping the refs counted, too. Incredible to think. After everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. Yeah, this 
This is not good. You don't say, Saxon. Randy Orton is slipping, but he still might have an RKO in his back pocket. <laughs> Fires back with a crucial elbow. Off with a clothesline. To start this off with a show of respect. Oh, 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 oh. oh wait for it. A chaotic start to this matchup. They should have known better than to take the bait. Well, obviously, total lack of respect between these two. Tension's incredibly high. That sounds, and let's see if any sort of begrudging respect comes out of this one after the display we just saw. Respect is. Set up on the Koji. She is trying to break out of this. Oh, an elbow does the job. Oh. Knee strike connects. <laughs> she saw that one coming. God driven face first. We all know what she's looking to do next. No, no, no. Suicide dive. Risking it all and able to connect like a holy missile. Now the fire has had a career of ups and downs. Corey, that has to be weighing on her mind going into this match tonight. That's what makes Alba Fire so successful, Cole. She doesn't let her past decide her future. Any of her losses become fuel for the fire, so to speak. I think that tenacity will come into play big time here tonight. Oh, quite an effective counter. Fry quick to counter. Here it comes. The rack attack. Nails it. And the threat of Alba fire neutralized there. Yeah, Niven saw the opportunity and didn't hesitate. Pulled back into the hip toss. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. 
Oh, rake in the face. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. A big cross body. Forearm club. Whoa, stiff headbutt. Party's over. Good night. She faked her off. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Could be in search of a second win now. Just disrespectful. Now, I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. Oh, God, that hurt. She can end it here. Strong kick out there. She shows that she's far from finished. Kick! Oh, God! Oh, driving the foot into the jaw. That looks painful. That was something. Is it enough here? Raises the shoulder before the one count. Not enough pressure on the pin. <laughs> oh, someone call a dentist. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Face buster. That is it. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Some intimidation tactics from Piper Niven. There's press and... Luthez press! Just going all out with every blow. And an overbearing amount of offense against Niven here. Yeah, like I said, Cole, that tenacity from Alba's past is motivating her big time right now. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Springboard up. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Flying. The splash connects. And shoulders are down. Two count. She kicks out with authority after two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Yeah. Using the momentum to sweep the leg. Places her right in the corner. Looking to end this. Survive that. Staying alive there is unheard of. And you see a perplexed look now for how such impactful offense couldn't gain a pinfall. I am stunned by what we've seen from these women so far. These competitors are redefining, digging deep and from the top. Pitch me. I, I gotta be dreaming. There's no way she's still in this match. Oh, and that buys some time. Right to the kidneys from behind. Brought down with the bulldog. Boom. Oh, my lord. This could be big. Going up high. From the top, Alba Fire with the swan time. Niven in big time jeopardy. Kick out, thought that was the end of her. How did that not end things for her? She's showing incredible resiliency. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? Everyone watching this is on pins and needles. What a match. A battle for the ages. You can't help but get amped. Fire is really gaining the momentum now. Niven's got to fight. From the top. Now the fire with a small time. Game set. Match for Alba Fire. Where Alba Fire has done it. Here is your winner, Alba Fire. 
some could say this loss really added insult to injury. It was enough to be disrespected earlier on, but the loss definitely didn't help matters. To disrespect your competition and then definitively beat them like this, it sure stings a bit. But let's not rain on their parade. They earned it. I challenge you to find a more impressive young talent. Very skilled, but also very arrogant. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Already has an ego way beyond his years. And it's getting stronger by the day. So pathetic. Oh. Weak. Could have loved what you lose. Theory is due, but he has a habit of letting his ego get in the way of his talent. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth? And his opponent, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 255 pounds, Wolfgang! Singles, tag team, traditional match, a stipulation, it doesn't matter to Wolfgang. The more fists that are flying, the better. If Wolfgang had his way, the ring area would be turned upside down and in shambles. And then he'd start throwing people around. Wolfgang's just a different breed of animal. We won't see any catch-as-catch-can moves or high-risk theatrics, just brutality unleashed. Corey, it's this simple. Wolfgang smells blood and goes on a rampage. The agile big man Wolfgang ready to get into a fight. Men built like Wolfgang really shouldn't move the way he does, but that's what Wolfgang's all about, defying expectations and physics, apparently. And across the ring from him, you've got Austin Theory. If you added up all the ingredients to make the perfect superstar, Theory would most likely be your end result. Perfect might be a bit of a stretch, Corey. While Theory is obviously talented, his arrogance can often cloud his judgment and cause him to make mistakes. He needs to focus here if he wants to live up to the hype. Matt holds back Theory's attack. Nice half kick, great elevation. And he's out of there in a nick of time. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? And he slides him back to the mat. A 
Chance is there. Point it down. Middle rope. Launch. Moonsault. Quickly to cover. Kicks out at just one. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Big knee to the midsection. Dodges. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Look, we know Austin Theory can be a mean son of a gun when he wants to. If there were ever a time when he should turn that aspect of his personality on, I would say this match is that. It's a tight rope to walk between aggression and frustration. Let's see if Theory can manage it. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. Playing possum. Shoulders down. He's able to kick out before two. Keeping a loss at bay for now. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Punch lands. He thinks he has it. Man, what an upset. An absolute upset. I am in disbelief. I still don't know if what we saw was oh. real. That was uncalled for. This superstar has completely lost it. An amazing young wrestler, Brutus Creed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed. You look at a guy like Brutus Creed and you see a hybrid athlete with classic ground and pound fused with power. And a superb mat technician to boot. Brutus is the real deal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to go down. We are about to see a wrestling clinic. And his partner, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Julius Creed. This is a man who does not know fear. A relentless competitor dedicated to peak performance. And Julius Creed looks to make a crushing statement tonight. We're all about to get a lesson. And accompanied by Thea Hale at a combined weight of 469 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Andre Chase and Duke Hudson, Chase University. Everybody's hoping to be on the Dean's List after tonight, or else they'll be put on double secret probation.
school jokes aside, this is a seriously competitive team. No doubt, Corey, and they're always focused on improving. We're about to get an education in the ring here from Chase U. Well, they're impressive in their academics. They're even more impressive in the ring. This is a team that studies the in-ring game very hard, and every time they step into the ring, it shows. I expect we're going to see some new things from the Chase U curriculum tonight. And when it comes to the creeds, you almost take their incredible power for granted because you expect it to be there. But their impressive speed and agility have a major impact on their offense and their defense. Straight up, competitors who are as big and powerful as Julius and Brutus are not supposed to move like that. I mean, they can really do it all. Now that's what you call impact. He went right into that turnbuckle. He's returning fire. Just tossed. You should get airline miles for that. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Just cranking the head. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. That's how you wear down your opponent. Boom! Oh my goodness, Boosh, did you hear the thud on that impact? And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Shoulder tackle in the corner. Foot to the midsection. Boom! Kick to the face for your troubles. Got to find a way to get out of this. Planted face first. Face plant. Vicious right forearm. Placed in the corner. This tag team is just tremendous working together. Double teams. And it's about to get worse. Oh, draping double axe handle. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Goodness gracious. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. That turns it around for Julius. Clean tag for his partner. Single leg drop kick caught him. He manages to escape it. And Creed gets warded off. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. On the first row. My goodness, what a program. Gets the shoulder up after one. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Caught with a bit. He thinks he has it. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh and a right hand for good measure. Oh, I heard a snap. Inflicting oh. more damage to the leg. Getting set up for something in the corner. Smash, followed up by a bulldog. Will this be enough? And a kick out at two. 
Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Shot after shot, but then slamming their face down. Close fist connects. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Uh-oh. Still in this. Tag is made. Up and around. Punch straight to the face. Great rotation on the belly back suplex. Carefully measured knee drop. Oh man, he is fired up now. Hoist it up. All the way out. Suplex. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Swinging neck breaker. He may be in a bad way here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Face full of turnbuckle. Bash with a punch to the gut. Oh, right to the gut. Man, oh man. Underhook applied. Side effect. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window, he kicks out at two. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. He's turning the tables. He got whipped into that corner. Andre wards that attack off. Belly to belly suplex. It's been a hard-hitting affair here tonight. These competitors are going to have trouble walking on their own after this one. Atomic drop! Oof! What a hot shot! It's all the way to the outside. Oh, ouch! Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. Strikes with a kick. Shoulder tackle. Devastating elbow. I oh, on the counter. Got to look out for that right hook. With the lariat. Andre is unable to stop this string of offense. Creed's proven hard to deal with. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. Into the corner. This can't be good. Boom! What a right! Oh! Things went from bad to worse! Ooh. Oh, man! And Julius gets met with a response. Great reversal. He is just reeling from that offense. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. He's got it. Oh, oh, oh. let's get it on. Oh, right across the throat. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Julius keeps him at bay. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Vicious forearm right in a skull. And up the turnbuckles we go. 
From the top, double axe handle connects. And he sends him into the corner. Uh oh. Oh, Hudson creates an opportunity. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Ah, tag me. Here comes the double team. This is gonna be interesting. A gory special. And then a flatliner. Duke stamping an end to this. That's gotta be it. Two. And that will end it. Here are your winners. Andre Chase. This pairing pain, strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. One of the hardest hitting high flyers around. Ready for takeoff. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos. Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. When Escobar joined WWE, he arrived here under a mask. But he quickly put the past behind him. He evolved. He became the superstar we know today. That change seems like a very good one for Santos. Here comes the hitman. What a treat for the NXT universe. Oh, yeah, the excellence of execution. And his opponent, representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett, the Hitman Hart. I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxton. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. And we're underway with the Hitman. I have to tell you, the way Bret has been treating the fans lately has been appalling, and I believe an apology is needed. An apology? 
You should be ashamed of yourself, Cole. The thankless wretches of the WWE Universe stabbed the hitman in the back. These losers disrespect an all-time great, a role model. The apology should come from them, not Brett. The hitman's done nothing but insult people who stood by him through thick and thin. They wore his shirts, made posters, collected his action figures. What a slap in the face. And all hail the emperor of Lucha Libre. Escobar can soar with the Eagles, throw fists in a brawl, or grapple on the mat to seize control. And what's so impressive about Escobar is he can do it all whenever the situation calls for it against foes of all sizes. Deep to side, jeez. And that might have shook Escobar to his foundation. Forward oh. smash! I mean, this has been a physical battle since the get-go. It has been everything we have expected. This superstar's rocked, and this superstar apparently has decided has uh, had enough. Actually, gonna leave the match? You can't be serious. Time to walk away and fight another day. Certainly appears to be the case. Wait a second. Maybe oh, not. Oh, oh. This just went from bad to worse. Corey, why did that superstar just throw them back in the ring? Your guess is, can he do it here? No, he pops the shoulder before three. Very close. Fatigue clearly setting in. Uh-oh. Here's the cover. The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. He's not even close to being done yet. There he goes, right into the corner. Steered clear of that. Big elbow. And now the hit. Neither superstar giving an inch here. Escobar turns it around. Just teeing off with that fight for everybody. Slugging away with everything they've got. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Oof. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And an elbow. Brett found himself in the wrong place there. Yeah, Santos is building a way to take out the competition. That was not just painful on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck and all the way down the arm. This is a smart strategy. Escobar on the receiving end. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh. Oh, the wind just knocked right out with that. He's going to set him over the top rope with a big clothesline. Now what does he do? He's got the man right where he wants him, in trouble. Across the ring. Oh, suicide dive. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Hammer it away. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Hoisted up into a powerbomb position, but steady punches and breaks out. He takes control. There's the Canadian Destroyer. Wow. No flash, no ceremony, just pure skill from Escobar. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. I think the writing's on the wall, and it is not good for the Hitman. Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. The lights are dimming for the Hitman. Oh, he was almost finished. The Hitman's heart beats on. We are looking at the tenacity it takes to be the best. And there needs to be a refocus. Sharpshooter applied. Will this do it? 
Sharpshooter's locked in. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Brett lining him up from the top turnbuckle. He has a right where he wants him. Incoming! Diving hit! Does he have him here? And the victory! Here is your winner, Brett the Hitman Hart! You love to see it. Overcoming the odds and the disrespect to get the W. Who knows if this changes anything between them, but it has to be nice to stand tall there. Here comes Michael Cole's favorite team in all of WWE, Damage Control. Oh, God. Don't let Bailey hear that, Corey. Bailey, hey, over here. The following is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring, representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey. Dakota Kai and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing they've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Quite simply, nobody can stop damage control. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. C loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way. Control, controlling the situation, controlling her own success, even controlling the entire women's division if she can. 
Well, Bailey is a full-on control freak as far as I'm concerned. She's a manipulator who takes what she wants by any means necessary. Yeah, Bailey demands to have things exactly to her liking and pity anyone who gets in the way of that. And then we've got Meechin, a superstar with no shortage of attitude. Meechin loves to take the fight right to her opponent and get in their face with hard, devastating hits. Not one to hold back or back down from a fight, Meechin has had to battle for everything she has accomplished in this industry. Once that bell is rung, you can count on her to go all out, non-stop, until it's over. Set up in the corner. I have to wonder, Corey, what does one have to do to get an advantage over a veteran talent like Bailey? Plain and simple, Cole, don't let up. Don't give Bailey an inch because she will steal a mile from you. Essentially, beat Bailey in her own in ring game and expect some underhanded tactics along the way. What now? Bailey, stop! Oh. Slam incoming, no! Instead delivers the inverted DDT! Boom! What a drop kick! On the mark. Was ready for that. Shot to the midsection connects. Oh, vicious body shot. Dangerous situation, needs to find a way out fast, and she does. Great move. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Is it enough? Two! Sends off the three count. No celebrations yet. And Meechin reverses it. Oh, and she got out of there. Went into the corner now. Blow to the back. Uh oh. So hard into the ring post. Bailey's fortitude being put to the test there. The competitor in Meechin coming through here. <laughs> DDT! And this one might be headed ringside. Can you believe this? I love it. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Bailey turning up the intimate, putting a stop to all her showboating. That unraveled on Mishin. Shoulder tackle. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Ooh, targeted the lower body there, and it was highly effective. We knew we were in for something special between these competitors, but they are taking things over their own limits. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Hit the ropes. Brutal knee to the side of the face. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Look at this. Bailey going up top. From the top rope. Ah, she misses the mark. Uh oh. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. And here we go. Eight defeat. Is it enough to put Bailey away? Cover. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. That right there is why Bailey is a role model. Resilience, intestinal fortitude. Some could say Bailey never stops fighting. Sometimes when you unleash your best offense and it doesn't get the job done, you're taken out of your game. That's a real possibility now in this match. 
It's absolute pandemonium in here. And it's all because of the willpower these superstars are showing. Bailey looking a little worse for wear after taking that hit. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Nice Japanese on drag. she could, but Meechin just fell short in the end. But she's not one to get too discouraged. She'll bounce back from this. Uh, here we go to start this thing. A little uh, stare down. And maybe a show of respect. Why not? Shake their hand. There we go. That's how we need to start a matchup. All right, now that pleasantries have been exchanged, let's tear each other apart. Great sportsmanship to start this thing. But I think it's pretty clear. Hope it ended early. the shoulder. He's looking to get this match won in short order. 
Oh. Crank in the head. Avoiding contact. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Back no. suplex on the apron. The hardest part of the ring. There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Well scouted reversal there. Looks like the powerhouse of positivity got a bit rocked. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Toss back into the ring. Oh, catches a kick to the face. Reigns is wasting no motion. Overwhelming attacks from Roman now. A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. A lot of people have criticized Roman Reigns for relying too much on his cronies to maintain his standing in WWE. Corey, do you consider that a possible sign of weakness from Reigns? Absolutely not, Cole, because Reigns doesn't need to rely on anyone but himself in the ring. He is where he is because he's the tribal chief. He's proven repeatedly that he has what it takes to get things done on his own. your perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Ouch. Pop. What a reversal by Reigns. Oh, Big E avoids contact. Shoulder tackle. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Flinged across the way. Now he's been put on the defensive. A beatdown on the big dog. Roman keeps getting cut off at the pass. Oh, what a back body drop. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Biggie on the move. Oh, oh, incredible elevation from the big man. Biggie manhandling him there and making it look easy. Making it look painful. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Nap time on the island of relevancy. Hardy oh, gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. Biggie on the receiving end. Ooh, sidewalk slam. Look at that. Shake hands and pat backs all you want, but after a loss like that, you've got to change your approach. Oh, come on, Corey. You think respect is the reason for this loss? This loss has to be a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, Byron, I just hope this loss doesn't change their view on everything.
The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. McIntyre has summoned the WWE Universe to aid him in battle along his passionate journey to fulfill his destiny atop WWE. This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. Look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. In many ways, Braun Breaker was born for this. Wrestling is in his blood. He grew up watching his father and uncle decimate top talent. Now he's here to do the same. But Breaker isn't just an iteration on his family's past success. He's an evolution built for the future of this industry. He's a next generation powerhouse who attacks the competition with impressive technical ability and nonstop intensity. That intensity of Braun Breaker certainly has put him on another level. At times he can appear almost unmatched inside the ring. And he goes for the pin! Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Sky high! Way up there. Headlock. Oh, and cheap shot right above the eye. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. Yeah. Powerbomb. A powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh, man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Good grief, man. This is vicious. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Power bomb. You have to cover. He gets an emphatic kick out. This isn't even close to over. Braun Breaker can really be like a dog with a bone when he's got his sights set on his opponent, Corey. How do you combat something like that? How do you keep Breaker down? Well, Cole, that's where in-ring IQ and veteran instincts come in. Breaker is quite the talent, but he's still a young talent with much to learn. 
If you have better ring smarts or more reps, use that to your advantage against Breaker. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Beautiful gator roll. Great way to disorient your opponent. And Braun has earned the upper hand here. And I bet Braun's looking. And he goes for the pin. Stops the count before it, too. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Vicious right forearm. Dodges out of the way. And just launched his opponent. Overhead, belly to belly. He eludes the contact. Oh, side coming. Reversal on top of reversal. McIntyre wreaking havoc with his knockout power. Braun's chances are fading. Shoulders down. No, my, that was close. Simply abnormal resilience from Breaker. And where McIntyre goes from here is unknown. Drew's accustomed to putting out so many men with that maneuver. McIntyre gets met with a response. Off the ropes, there's a reversal. Good God! Picked out of midair into a power slam. Braun setting himself up top. From the top. Oh, no, no, drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Oh. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Just cranking the head. One, two, three. Ooh, man, that dodge can buy Drew time. McIntyre basically telling him that this is what dominance really looks like. Launched into a German suplex. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. Drew's getting cut off at the knees at every turn. Incredible resolve on display. These competitors have been unwavering. One punishing blow after. Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. Look at the military press and turns it into a power slam. Does that close it out for Breaker? He's going for the pin. This could be it. Over. And a win. That may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. Tonight, Drew McIntyre did not survive. Drew could not seize control of this match. This is not what McIntyre expected. And we don't know what kind of damage McIntyre suffered.
Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. You know, I think it's safe to say the almighty Bobby Lashley is treading in demigod territory at this particular juncture. Lashley is standing in rarefied air. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Guy Shin is it? Expressive as he is dangerous. Here's what I love about Shinsuke Nakamura. He's got his own style, and he's always going with his own flow. Nakamura is brash and fearless inside the ring. And looks damn cool doing it. We all know Lashley's physique is that which has been sculpted from Mount Olympus itself. This guy won't win a pose down against the Almighty. Do you think there's a chance he can win a fight? the bell and this is on Bobby Lashley is a decorated combat athlete whose power technical prowess and speed put him in the category all by himself Lashley is lethal in so many types of situations his ability to just power through the opposition can be kind of scary no matter who you are or what the circumstance you can guarantee the almighty will show no mercy but we all know Shinsuke Nakamura is always ready for a fight. Anytime, any place. The king of strong style isn't backing down in this one. Oh, wow. Oh, DDT. Placing them into the corner. Kick. Oh. Hung across the top turnbuckle. Here they come. There's the knee. The eviscerate. Kick out. I didn't think this match was close to over. Whoa. Knee right to the midsection. Any advice for someone who finds themselves clashing with the almighty Bobby Lashley? Yeah, end this as quickly as possible. Bobby has speed, strength, and stamina. So blitzing him with potent offense and getting an early win is a safer bet than dragging this thing out. Answer after answer for each other's offense here.
for two. I think this match still has a ways to go. Crank in the head. Elbow drop. Piercing. That's an attack that takes aim at the king of strong styles crown. Such physicality from Lashley. Oh, just turn that around. German suplex. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Lashley out of the way. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Scott Buster. Across the shoulder. Filthy. Oh, looking for the, the pump handle. Oh, oh slam. Oh, what distance. Yeah. Lashley looking more than ready for a real fight. Come on, that's great. He is delivering elbow after elbow. He got whipped into that corner. able to reverse. Saw that one coming. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Side slam. Nice. This match is brutality starting to show on him. You really can't overstate the sheer force that Nakamura can hit you with. Ooh, nasty kick. Just breaking down the opponent. Elbow drop. Piercing. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Uh, please don't remind me, Corey. To the small of their back. This could be a tipping point in this match. Nakamura style on display. Back elbow. Jeez, you see that? Oh my goodness. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Cinching in the hurt lock. The king of strong style close to tapping. Nakamura now looking so tough now. He may lose this thing. And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Driven down with an elevated flatliner. Nakamura might need to find a reprieve. Shinsuke has been snuffed out. This one is headed outside, guys. Ooh. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. From the... No, finds his target. Lashley's in dire straits. Try to end it. He kicks out somehow. The almighty roaring back from the brink of defeat. How is he still in this? And you have to wonder if Nakamura can pull off one more big hit to finally get the win. What the four Nelson slam! A uh, deadlift. Look at this power. Super slam. human. Power slam. Good night. Oh, this is just flat out. Punishment. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Boom! 
it's okay. They weren't that pretty anyway. That didn't go Lashley's way. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Torturous focus on the leg. Boom. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. Oh, meet the backside of an elbow. Sitching in the hurt lock. Oh, no, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, but can he roll on his body? Can he roll? Can he roll here and counter this? Fight it. F and he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. He skirts around him. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Uh, yeah. Able to reverse. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Targeting the throat there. He's got the answer for that one. standing tall after this win. Well, as cutting as Nakamura's knee strikes can be, they just weren't sharp enough tonight. That's pretty surprising.